This video is sponsored by Rich Wallet. So this is the iPhone 12, released back towards the end of 2020, most notable for bringing back the squared off design we haven't really seen since the iPhone SE, along with new internals and plenty of new features. And now in 2022, you can still buy it new and cheaper than ever. So should you buy the iPhone 12 in 2022? Let's find out. First of all, as usual, let's talk about the specs. The iPhone 12 features an Apple A14 Bionic processor, four gigabytes of RAM, variable storage options at 64, 128, and 256 gigabytes. I personally have the 64 gigabyte variation, as despite recently getting into a lot of the Apple Arcade games, honestly, I don't really need any more. But all the same, it's nice to know that it is there if you need it. The iPhone 12 weighs in 164 grams, which is actually pretty light for a phone of this size. And it comes in black, like the one I have, white, like the one I used to have, blue, red, green, and purple. As for specs, well, that's pretty much it. While we will be covering some more specs in later sections, such as battery life and screen, and of course, talking about the performance later, I personally like to keep this section short so we can really dive into the real world performance of this phone. Next up, let's talk design and build quality. Well, as I said at the start of this video, the iPhone 12 did see a return to that sheer squared off design look that we haven't really seen since the iPhone 5. Now, granted, we did see it in the first generation iPhone SE. However, the last main iPhone line that we saw this design in was the iPhone 5. So if you're a fan of that design, it's your lucky day. I personally am a huge fan of this design language. I've personally found the phone to be a lot more grippy. It's a lot less easy to drop. While this is almost entirely an aesthetic decision, I really do think it looks good. The iPhone 12 is made almost entirely of glass and 7000 series aluminium for the bezel. And while this does both look and feel super premium, I have actually broken an iPhone 12 before. The corner on the bezel split, so the entire thing just broke. Granted, this was due to an extremely hard drop, and I think in most use cases, you should be fine. However, if you are in a situation where you think you're going to be dropping your phone a lot or very hard, then I would strongly recommend a case. That said, this was the first iPhone to feature Apple's new ceramic shield technology. This makes the screen significantly more durable, and honestly, I have found this to be the case. Although, as I said, I did have one case of broken iPhone with this technology. Most of the time, this technology has never let me down. I have actually heard some people saying that they do scratch their screen more often due to ceramic shield technology. I've personally never noticed that on any of my phones. And honestly, a screen protector might not be a horrible idea in this case. The iPhone 12 does have an IP68 water resistance rating, meaning that if you drop it in six meters of water, it can survive for up to 30 minutes. The button layout is basically identical to every single notched iPhone. It's got a separate volume up and down button, an isolated lock button, a mute switch, and that's pretty much it. All the buttons do feel extremely tactile and clicky, which is nice. And I do think this button placement just makes sense. Honestly, I don't mind that Apple don't change their button layout every generation. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, and it's less of an adjustment period. Overall, I do think the build quality on the iPhone 12 is actually quite impressive. You get a stronger front panel to protect yourself from the famous iPhone screen crack, a new squared off design, some water resistance, and some nice tactile buttons. Other than obviously the possible added scratchability to the ceramic shield screen, I still think this phone's impressive. And you know who else makes products with great build quality? The sponsor of today's video, the Ridge Wallet. This Father's Day, why not get the perfect gift of, or maybe just treat yourself with, a brand new Ridge wallet. It holds up to 12 cards plus room for cash. There's over 30 colors and styles to choose from, including the one I have here, which is carbon fiber, along with burned titanium. The durable material means that each of these wallets does also come with a lifetime warranty, which is nice to see. And the Ridge team is so confident that you'll like your new wallet that they'll actually let you test drive your new wallet for 45 days. And if you don't like it, you can send it back for a full refund. To save 15% on your brand new Ridge wallet, check out the link in the description or the pinned comment, or use code BUB at checkout to again get 15% off. Once again, a huge thanks to the Ridge wallet for sponsoring this video. Following on, we have the screen. Honestly, the iPhone 12 is pretty fantastic for 2022. It has a 6.1 inch Super Retina XDR OLED panel with a resolution of 1170 by 2532. It's got a typical peak brightness of 6 
625 nits. However, due to the fact that it is also HDR10 certified, in this mode, it has a peak brightness of 1200 nits. It has a PPI of 460, Dolby Vision, and is overall an outstanding panel. I've really enjoyed watching videos on this thing as it's crystal clear, bright enough for all environments. And honestly, I got no complaints for 2022. It does also feature True Tone for accurate colors in all lighting, along with haptic touch as a secondary interaction method. And overall, as I said, the iPhone 12 screen for 2022 is absolutely fantastic. After this, we have the main unlock method for the iPhone 12, which is Face ID. Honestly, it's pretty similar to both the iPhone 11 and the iPhone 13. Realistically, not all that much has changed since the drastic update on the iPhone 11. But honestly, I don't really see this as a problem. This Face ID technology is awesome regardless. It works nicely in all lighting conditions. You can unlock your phone from multiple angles. So while it would be nice to have a secondary unlock method, this is totally fine for 2022. Following on, we're gonna be talking about one of my personal favorite things, the camera. So the iPhone 12 features a dual camera system that we have seen before, similar to the iPhone 11, but this time with an aperture of f1.6 and another 12 megapixel f2.4 ultra wide camera. The selfie camera also seems to look about the same as the iPhone 11 with a 12 megapixel f2.2 front facing camera. However, there are some pretty nice features that have been added to the iPhone 12. So let's take a look. In terms of photos on the iPhone 12, I've actually been really impressed. Photos are nice and sharp with good dynamic range. And this is the case on both cameras. Although it does need to be said that there is less corner distortion on the main camera. The iPhone 12 does also have portrait mode on the main camera and this works well, being accurate in selections and giving you that nice DSLR look in your pocket. Night mode was also updated on this phone to work on all cameras. And while in my opinion, it is significantly better on the main camera, in part, I definitely think thanks to that faster aperture, it is certainly handy to have around nevertheless. Selfies on the iPhone 12 do look good. As I said, 12 megapixels. It's got nice dynamic range, nice colors, and overall, no complaints in terms of selfies. Okay, so photos are good. What about videos? Not only can this phone shoot 4K 60fps with some of the best stabilization I've ever seen, you can also, up to 30fps, get Dolby Vision HDR. With this, you get more dynamic range out of your videos, and I honestly think this is a super cool technology. Of course, you also get slow motion video, and while it won't be the best quality, especially compared to the 4K modes, it will be absolutely fine for any fun home slow motion. Overall, the camera on the iPhone 12 is still very impressive in 2022. While it's not quite as good as the latest offering, it is still absolutely fantastic for most people in 2022. And whether you just want to grab some quick snaps or edit your photos to perfection, the iPhone 12 will certainly do a good job. Next up, we have the most important aspect of the modern smartphone, OS and app performance. My particular iPhone 12 is running on iOS 15 and I'm pleased to say that it runs great. Scrolling through everything is always smooth, opening apps and performing system functions are all flawless even in 2022. But what about more intensive tasks? In terms of watching videos on the iPhone 12, thanks to the screen, the four gigabytes of RAM and the A14 processor, watching 4K or HDR videos on this thing is absolutely flawless. I never find my phone lagging and videos always look absolutely incredible. In terms of gaming, again, very few issues here. I've had a blast using this thing to play some Apple Arcade games. And thanks to the fact that this thing has only been out since late 2020, it's gonna stay that way for a really long time. As I said, this thing is currently running iOS 15. However, I do think this will be good for at least another five years or so. So chances are, if you want a phone that lasts, the iPhone 12 should certainly be a contender. Moving on, in terms of speakers, the iPhone 12 does come with a stereo speaker configuration using both the front speaker and the main speaker in conjunction to get a louder, wider sound. And while it's not gonna be great for editing audio or anything like that, it is totally fine for chucking on some tunes while you're cooking. And that's basically what they were intended for, so... Finally, we have the battery life. The iPhone 12 has a 2850 milliamp hour battery, which can be charged wired, wireless, or with the MagSafe charger. Honestly, when new, it wasn't quite as good as the iPhone 11 was when it was new. That said though, it almost always gets me through my day with absolutely no problems. And while it would have been nice to have a bigger battery, especially with that screen, unless you're gaming all day, honestly, you probably won't have all that many problems. Overall, the iPhone 12 is a phenomenal 
phenomenal value iPhone for 2022, especially now the iPhone 13's out. The experience that this thing provides for the amount it costs, especially if you pick it up used nowadays like I did, shouldn't be brushed aside. And if you're interested in a great screen, a great camera and great performance for 2022, I strongly recommend checking out the iPhone 12. All right, guys, so that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Let me know by the way, what do you think of the iPhone 12? Are you gonna get one? Do you already own one? Are you watching this video on one? Feel free to let me know in the comments. I always enjoy reading those. Once again, a huge thank you to The Ridge for sponsoring this video. Check them out in the description. As for now though, as always, thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you wanna see more content like this, then smash that subscribe button. I'm done for now, and I will see you guys in the next one.